Everything has taken a sudden turn for the worse for Marvel in a way that they never saw coming. And this is going to be a very devastating thing that is happening to Marvel right now that is probably going to even delay some of their projects in a very major way. Even potentially, even completely bringing Marvel to a screeching halt as everything is continuing to get worse for Hollywood at this time between the writer's strike, the actor's strike, and now this very, very bad news that Marvel has just received. So Marvel Studios VFX unit, you unanimously votes to unionize, demand fair pay for the hours they work, healthcare, a safe and sustainable working environment, and respect for the work they do. Now, what is going to happen with all of this? Well, it's very possible that they might strike. They might actually strike against Marvel if they do not get the what they are asking for. Either that... Or Marvel might just take a look at everything that's going on with uh, the, the VFX companies and all of that stuff. And they might think, well, I guess we'll just uh, have people from China make our visual effects. <laughs> or from some other overseas country. And that is something that is very, uh, uh, that is very uh, likely that is going to happen if this continues to follow through. So this decision was first announced on September 12th. And followed as a result of unit-wide open vote in which every ballot cast was in favor of union unionizing with the IATSE. And of course, this is a very interesting thing that is happening as we are continuing to see Marvel and Disney and all these other Hollywood studios having to deal with the fact that they are just receiving strikes left and right. In a statement provided to Variety, IATSE uh, VFX organizer Mark Patch explained, Today, VFX workers at Marvel Studios spoke with a unanimous collective voice demanding fair pay for the hours they work, healthcare, a safe and sustainable working environment, and respect for the work they do. There could be no stronger statement highlighting the overwhelming need for us to continue our work and bring union prote protections and standards to all VFX workers across the industry and there could be no stronger example of the courage and solidarity of these workers than each and every one of them declaring declaring union yes now, I'm not a big fan of unions, and I think that unions are complete trash. I think that it's a very socialized uh, system and uh, that it's not it's not good overall. But uh, but I can understand where a lot of these VFX artists are also coming from because we know that they have been put through the ringer when it comes to all the insanity that is going on and how the reason why we continue to get absolutely terrible effects from Marvel is because exactly this. They're being put through hell to try to put out all of these projects and we know that Marvel continues to expand. They continue to have more and more projects on their plate and because of that it's just continued to stress out the workers more and more. We also see the same thing happening in the video game industry as well. We, we hear the this all the time coming from game developers and everything else where they are just stressed to the max at all times working ungodly hours to try to put out games because of a deadline and this is a clear clear sign that at the end of the day it's not about putting out quality it's not putting out, out uh, great visual effects or anything like that that's not what marvel is in it for they're in it for the money they're in it to continue to just meet a certain status when it comes to, you know, the, uh, their, their shareholders and everything else. And because of that, we're continuing to get crappy visual effects. I mean, this was, uh, a prime example of that. Modoc from the recent Ant-Man film, which was a horrendous film. I, I can tell you why, because I worked on the movie. In the past couple of years, it seems like there's been an increase in the amount of complaints about bad CGI in superhero movies. And there's a good reason for this. I mean, well, it's not good, but you'll see what I mean. The way that VFX companies get work is that Marvel and Warner Brothers and other studios will approach VFX companies and say, hey, I have 2,000 shots that I need for this sequence. And the VFX studios will place a bid based on that quantity of shots. But here's the catch. The amount of work per shot varies dramatically. So one shot could have a wire removal. Another shot could have wire removal, smoke sim, fire sim, face replacement, green screen. Despite the difference in workload between those two shots, they both are considered just one shot each. Because of this, VFX artists are forced to work relentless hours, overtime almost every day, including weekends. In fact, I had to be the one to call artists on a Friday night to say, hey, can you work over the weekend? Which is part of the reason why I left after three months. But here's the kicker. If these VFX companies aren't meeting the unrealistic expectations that these studios are setting, they risk losing out on future contracts. And there's only so many studios that are making superhero movies anymore. Which means the VFX companies have to bend over backwards to hit these insane deadlines from these Hollywood studios. Only thing they care about is pleasing their shareholders on the next earnings call. To them, they've managed to increase the output of superhero movies that are still making billions of dollars, and they've reduced the time it takes to make them. Studios could easily space out their projects to give these super talented and hardworking artists more time to work on the film, but 
that's just not in the best interest of the shareholders. When you're putting out this many projects with shorter turnarounds, the VFX will always look worse. So if it looks like a VFX shot in the flash was made in a week, it's probably because it was. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.